Hey guys, Nancy here. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. So today I have a quick video for you. Lavishly is a black owned brand from Toronto and they were kind enough to hook your girl up with their launch items. So today I have a quick little swatch party. I've been using the product for the past couple weeks. I love the product. I'm wearing the products now. So to me, this is less of a first impressions and more of a you should get them. So let's get into this video. If you want to see me swatch the rest of these products, then just scroll down, hit that subscribe button, join the Nat G gang, 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 and let's get into this video. All right, so to start right now, like right, right now, I'm wearing the Money Bags highlighter, which looks like this. Look, look at my cheek, okay? Let's talk about that. Super, super pretty packaging, super, super pretty color to match. So like, just so that you guys know, like this is what I'm wearing, like look at it. I just wanna show you, like first of all how built, it's blinding, like it's so buildable, and so bright and shiny, it's blinding. Like on camera right now, like my lights are reflecting off of it and it's changing the whole balance of the film right now. Like you can see it, right? Blinding, amazing. I love, love, love this highlighter. Honestly, I haven't been wearing makeup much for the month of June, likely because it's hot outside. So on the few occasions that I actually have been wearing makeup, this is what I've been grabbing, which is actually pretty exciting because it's like when you get something new, sometimes, it doesn't live up to the expectations or the hype. So you kind of just try it and you're like, meh. But I've been like secretly using it, sometimes not even tagging the brand for getting because it's just part of my normal routine now. So love this. Also currently wearing the Rain Matte Liquid Lipstick as well as the First Lady Gloss. This lip combo though, unmatched. Like since this came into my life, I don't want to put anything else on. Everything smells really, really good. I think my only um, packaging complaint is that I wish the gloss applicator was a bit thicker. Uh, that's just something I say about everybody's gloss applicator. Just because I have big lips, it does a good job. And I like that the gloss is also not totally translucent. It is a little bit opaque, carries a bit of pigment. And to put it over something like Rain, which is also very neutral, it just creates Wow, nude lip. Looking at something like Fenty's, like Fenty's is so thick. So I think it's just that I'm spoiled because I use a Fenty lip gloss all the time. But now that I want to use this all the time, I'm like, I just wish I could do it quicker. Like I want to do like one, two swipe rather than like one, two, three, four swipe. That's like really my only complaint because the pigment's there, it's a comfortable wear, it looks beautiful. And that's really all I'd say about that. So let's get into the products that I'm not wearing. I'm currently not wearing the Glow Getta highlighter. This one is a loose diamond powder. Opposed to Money Bags is a pressed diamond powder. So this one's obviously Money Bags is a, in a compact. This is loose. So keep that in mind depending on how you live your life. <laughs> and I mean that honestly. If you're someone who wants something that is gonna make minimal mess, that's going to be easy to carry around, plus it has a mirror, I would go with money bags. But if you're someone who lives for the drama, get you some Glow Getta because I love a loose powdered highlighter. Like, okay, I don't wanna put it on top of money bags, but like we must, we must try it. Like, just right there, blinding. Like I'm really like it's so blinding that it's like messing with the balance on my camera right now My camera's like who do I focus on? What do I focus on? Look at that. I'm also gonna swatch it so that you can see it kind of undisturbed and unmixed and I'm not using a lot I'm just grabbing whatever's in the like that's when it's really soft and if you wanted to amp it up and use like the tiniest bit more That's what it goes to and it's just that's why I like diamond powders because they're just like it starts off as a sheen and you can make it blinding. It just gives you a more skin-like finish, depending on if you're like a beginner or not. But it can also, <laughs> also be a little tricky if you add too much. So when you're using a loose highlighter, definitely start slow, small, minimal amounts like this and build up to the ultimate glow. But I'm gonna add some of this on like my temples. Not that I really need it, but just to kind of like, we're glowing. We might as well glow all over. <laughs> love this. Love both these products. And also you guys know I have sensitive skin and I haven't broken out. Nothing like that. Which is super exciting because especially when you're trying new brands, that's like your number one fear. You don't want to break out or anything like that. So the fact that I'm not, love that for me. Let's get into the swatches of the other two matte liquid lipsticks that I was sent. The first one I'm going to try is Eris. I 
usually don't wear red lipsticks. And if you follow my channel for a while, you know why. I just have this fear of me looking old. <laughs> like my mom used to wear red lipsticks and every red lipstick I put on makes me look old. So I'm really excited to try Eris because Shiel, the CEO, loves a red lip. It looks so good on her. She's like the Rihanna, like everything looks good on you. She's literally like, like this is her Fenty. Like, you know what I mean? Like everything looks good on you. So I really wanna see if it's gonna look good on me. So let's get into it. She's very pretty. No, honestly, I think that she's punchy enough for me. Like she's not too dark. I know I like dark lips, especially around fall. It's funny, like I'm looking at myself technically on three things right now. I'm looking at myself on my monitor, and I'm looking at myself on my phone, and I'm looking at myself in person. She has like this bright punch to it, like I actually like it a lot, like I'm not mad at it. She reminds me of like literally the only red that actually looked good on my skin, which was this red from ColourPop, but she's matte, and she's a little bit bright. Like, and by bright I mean like, you know how like a coral lip has like a punch to it, like immediately you can see it. Like there's something vibrant under there that kind of like doesn't make it too dark, doesn't make it old, doesn't make it too bright where it doesn't look good on my skin. Like it really is a really nice red for dark skin women. Wow. I like this red. Eris, I like her. I think that she does definitely give Eris like regal. Like I look wearing this. You know what I thought as soon as I put it on too? I look like Michaela, not Michaela Pratt, but yes, Michaela Pratt, Aja Naomi King from How to Get Away with Murder. As soon as I put this on, that's how I felt. Like that is what it's giving. It's giving rich girl. Though we did find out obviously she was a poor girl, but I mean, that's a conversation for another time. But yes, certainly enjoying this red. Like, I'm actually surprised. I, I really expected to not like it. Huda Beauty can't make a red that I like. This is a red that I like. And let's try the next liquid lipstick. This one is Brown Skin Girl. Very nice. Nice and rich. Brown Skin Girl is so cute. I kind of went crazy and didn't line my lips properly with it. But the color and the formula is definitely giving. It's super cute, I like it. It's a moody matte brown, almost like 90s inspired, which you know I'm here for. <laughs> like, I'm always here for that. I think I would definitely line it with a lip liner just because I feel like it needs a little depth on my lips. So I'm gonna do that now because products are all about their potential for me. And I mean, this liner is basically the same color, but I feel like it just kind of sharpened the look. It's not about necessarily contrasting, but just making sure that this like perfect brown color is just exactly where it needs to be. And if I was feeling froggy, I could use some black. Y'all know I love a black lip liner. And that defines it even more. Oof, I like this. I want to thank Lavish Lee for sending everything out to me. I really appreciate it and I really like all the products. I've been using them and I'm happy to keep using them. I'm really happy that she launched her line. I feel like every product speaks to her and who she is, down to the names, and I'm just glad that they were, they wanted to send me something. I feel so honored, especially for the first launch. So y'all better go out and support them, try these products, get into this blinding highlighter, some matte lips, a banging lip gloss, and support local, support black owned, support female owned. And with that, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did like it, please give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any questions, comments, or concerns about anything I did today, anything I put on, leave that in the comments down below. And as always, subscribe to me. You pay my bills, right? Again, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.